Howdy folks, and thank you for joining me on stop 11 of our historic tour. Did you know that Lotta Crabtree was one of the highest paid actresses of her time? Gold Rush Entertainment was very different from modern entertainment. People back in the 1840s and 1850s, after a hard day of mining, usually spent their well-earned gold on rations and supplies. When there was money for entertainment, they had several different ways to spend it. Alcohol was one such choice where they drank with their friends. Another was to see a play or Shakespeare being performed on makeshift stages, usually made from crates. In one of the more cruel and rare forms of entertainment, the miners caught a bear and a bull. The bear and the bull then fought in a constructed arena for the miners' gruesome entertainment. Any form of entertainment could supply the captive audience of miners. Entertainers had ample opportunities to practice their crafts to the entertainment-starved miners. Entertainers like Glotta Crabtree learned the trade of entertainment from the gold fields and then took it to other cities becoming famous. On today's stop, we will hear the story of Lotta Crabtree. Charlotte Crabtree was born in New York City on November 7, 1847. In 1851, her father moved their family to San Francisco. Then, in 1853, they moved up to Grass Valley. There, the family established a boarding house for minors. While living in the boarding house in Grass Valley, Charlotte Crabtree met one of her neighbors, Lola Montez. Lola Montez taught Charlotte Crabtree to sing and dance. The success of the first boarding house led the family to sell it and establish another one in Rabbit Creek about 40 miles north of Brass Valley. From there, young Charlotte Crabtree entertained the miners throughout the mining camps. In 1856, her family returned to San Francisco. Charlotte began touring San Francisco, Sacramento, and throughout the San Joaquin Valley. She learned to play the banjo and added that into her act. By 1859, she was going by Miss Lotta, the San Francisco favorite. Lotta Crabtree traveled to perform in Nevada during the Silver Rush in 1863. She then began to perform in plays in California, adding acting to her repertoire. She toured the nation throughout the 1870s and the 1880s with her own theatrical company. She was making over $5,000 a week, which was a lot of money in the 1880s. Her mom, who was also her manager, helped Lotta Crabtree to invest in real estate, racehorses, and bonds. She also funded charities and fountains, with the most famous being Lotta's Fountain in San Francisco. Lotta Crabtree retired due to a fall she suffered in May of 1889. She healed and tried to come out of retirement, but there was little fanfare, so she stayed retired at the age of 45. Well folks, our tale of Lotta Crabtree has ended. Please visit her house or the Nevada Theater where she conducted performances. Be sure to visit our other history stops at nevadacountymedia.org for a map of locations. Remember folks, come and visit us in this beautiful place we call home and enjoy Nevada County's gold. <laughs>